It's Sunday again. Welcome to another Lord's Day opportunity to think together with you about the Word of God, think about God's guidance for us in uh, the coming week. Uh, we are studying in the book of uh, 2 Peter. Uh, we are studying the text, but we are looking at the text of 2 Peter uh, by looking at various themes, various topics uh, that are developed uh, in the book uh, of 2 Peter. Uh, so today we come to the concept of Scripture. Uh, the Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 1, uh, beginning in verse 19, and we possess the prophetic word as an altogether reliable thing. Uh, you may be more familiar uh, when the text says we have a prophetic word that is more certain or is altogether certain. Uh, some translations say that the prophetic message has been more fully confirmed. Scripture, the word of God, the communication of God, the writing of God, inspired by God, a word more certain. We have certainty in God's word. Peter says a remarkable amount about the word of God, about scripture, about inspiration, about revelation. Sometimes not specifically, but in some rather indirect ways. And so the theme that we explore today briefly, uh, I'm not giving you a PowerPoint, I want you to get into your word. I want you to look at your Bible. I want you to read with me, study with me. Uh, think about the significance of what the Bible says. This theme relates to uh, the study that we did uh, previously on uh, the subject of knowledge. Uh, today's world has uh, little appreciation, I think, uh, for knowledge, for truth, and we certainly live in a world with uh, limited Bible knowledge. Uh, we cannot know and understand God unless he reveals himself to us. Uh, knowing God is not automatic. Uh, God reveals himself in creation. That's sometimes called natural revelation. But he reveals himself also in his word, which is special revelation. Uh, he has revealed himself in the coming of Jesus Christ, uh, the living word. But today we have a written word that is God's revelation of himself. In a world where truth uh, is considered uh, relative. Certainty is sometimes thought to be impossible. Uh, tolerance is the greatest value. And Peter's description of inspiration provides a stark contrast. Look at verse 20. Above all, you will do, do well if you recognize this. No prophecy of Scripture ever comes about by the prophet's own imagination. No prophecy was ever born of human impulse but men carried along by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. Peter calls for a return to rational thinking. He calls us to knowledge. He calls us to scripture. And the first chapter says several things uh, about scripture. As we read through the book, uh, we could note four or five points. Uh, one, the sufficiency of scripture. Uh, chapter one, verses three and four. Uh, we could note the source of Scripture in the text that we've been reading together. Uh, we could look, uh, look at the singularity or the solidarity, we might say the unity of Scripture in chapter 3 and verse 1 and following. Uh, we could look at uh, the scope of Scripture, chapter 3, verses 14 and 15, and also back to chapter 1, sufficient in all ways for everything that pertains to life and godliness. And we could look at the subversion of Scripture, uh, those who twist scripture, chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. And that would be a wonderful, wonderful outline for a long sermon. But uh, this is not a long sermon. This is a, a brief look at the Word of God. Uh, so I bring you today to what is for me a favorite text for study and for preaching. Uh, there are five affirmations of scripture that are found in verse 19 through 21 of chapter 1. Chapter 1, verses 19 through 21. The first one you may have already seen and guessed with me, back to verse 19, the surety of Scripture. You will do well if you pay attention to Scripture as a reliable thing. Scripture is sure. The Word of God is certain. We can know, we can depend upon. The Word of God is reliable. The second thing we note is the significance of of scripture. And we are still in verse 19. You will do well if you pay attention to this as you would to a light shining in a murky place 
until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The significance of Scripture is that it points us to the morning star, to the dawning of God's new day, to God's great action as he works within the context of human experience to bring about salvation through Jesus Christ. That's the message, the certainty of Scripture, the surety of Scripture, the significance is that it points to a Savior. We could look at chapter 1 and verse 20 and see the solution that is provided by Scripture. Above all, uh, you will do well if you recognize this, that the prophecy of Scripture does not come about by the prophet's own imagination. The solution provided by Scripture is not a human word, but is an affirmation that we are reading the very Word of God. This is not something that comes to us because human beings have manufactured it. This is the Word of God. The solution that we see in Scripture is the sure, certain, significant Word of God, again, pointing us to Jesus. There is a spirit behind Scripture, fourth point. Human beings were carried along, they were inspired, and they were assisted, carried along, the Bible says, by the Holy Spirit, and thus they spoke from God. So the spirit of Scripture enables the speaking of Scripture. They spoke from God because they were carried along by the Spirit of God. Five very simple truths from chapter 1, verses 19 through 21. Let us never forget the importance of the Word of God. Let us never forget the significance of Scripture in our lives as God's guide to help us live in service to Him. These five points from three short verses right at the end of 2 Peter chapter 1. The surety of Scripture, the significance of Scripture, the solution provided by Scripture, the spirit of Scripture, and the speaking of Scripture, the very Word of God. May God bless you today as you seek to worship Him in spirit and in truth, guided by the Word of God, more sure. Have a great Lord's Day. We'll see you next time around for another It's Sunday again. I hope you have a blessed week.